The disrespect Stop. is insane. This is You seen the thumbnail, it's finally time. Goku versus Superman. Not just the first battle, I'ma give y'all both of them. Now for the newcomers you might not know, I'm a DBZ fanboy, I'm proud to say it. The OGs of the community, they tell you man, I go crazy when my people lose, but sometimes you know, I understand. Sometimes. Now I will say this, this first battle is definitely going to Superman. If Goku wins, it'll blow my mind, bro. But I won't be mad. As long as he gets one, if they tie, cool. Superman better not sweep Goku, bro. What I'm super excited for is the Super Saiyan 4 transformation. They showed it, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna let him do that in here. We're gonna watch the first battle, the conclusion, the second battle, the next conclusion, and then I'll come back and I'll let y'all. Coming up, Goku versus Superman was always a crazy conversation to have, so I've been saving it for the 500 subscriber special, bro. Thank y'all so much, man so much for all the support the loyalty you guys show me is insane there have been times i've taken a break there have been times i've been so busy with real life situations i could not come and record bro first off gotta thank the man upstairs for allowing me to do something i love second you guys for getting on youtube and giving the guy that everybody says look like snoop dogg a chance Third, my family for supporting me, helping me get my PC set up and everything, bro. The grind is not stopping. We on the road to 1K. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, turn that bell on so you don't miss anything. I will have both original links down in the description. For this video, we got to turn it up or not. Say it with me. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death battle! Goku. Look, it's a bird. It's, it's a okay plane. if you lose, it's bro. It's gonna kill us! <laughs> Don't worry, folks. This looks like a job for Super- Whoa! I got it. I got it. Earlier today, Superman heroically rescued Metropolis from disaster once again. What he made this like a real episode. The airliner, which would have crashed. Superman, huh? Wow, he looks really strong. What that pretty boy ass clown? Please, I could kill him with my eyes closed. Even faster than that stupid transforming hedgehog. Just look at him wearing his underwear on the outside. I bet it chafes. Don't be so sure. Hmm. I sense him. He's strong. Stronger than anyone I've ever fought. Are you serious? Finally, someone as strong as me! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard he's an Poor alien! Vegeta. An alien? It's only a matter of time before he destroys the planet! <laughs> Nimbus! Y'all, I... I don't see Goku beating him. I really don't. I think they gonna hold my boy in this first fight. Hey there. Uh, hello. You look pretty strong. Let's fight. Fight? Well, that's really what I do. Fighting is like crack to go through. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. You're insane. He is. Fight! Come on, Goku! You're out, Max! Give up! I'll pass! Oh, really? Thank 
Thank you. Thank you. What? I, I I can't move. So, you're an alien too, huh? What did you do to me? Pressure oh points. my god. It didn't work at first, but my x-ray and microscopic vision let me find your body's weak points. You won't be going anywhere. What is that? Ah, sensu bean. Want one? No. I'm ending this. Wow, now. so he would have gave him one like he gave Sam. Idiot, bro. What? Ugh. Okay, Blondie, what's going on? I am Son Goku! And I... am a Super Saiyan! No, they making him use it this early? That means it's not gonna work, bro. It's not gonna work. Well, this might take a while. Ugh. What? Oh, 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 no, not now. Help! Huh? Hey, what are you doing? No. Goku. Oh, well, you know what? You know what? I ain't even mad at this. There. Okay, let's go. I ain't what? mad at that. He want a Why? fair good fight. That's Goku. You your best. It's no fun if it's not fair. Gee, thanks. Your favorite character is like never. Next time, watch your blind spot. Huh. Deja vu. Yes. Keep making a shoot the laser. Oh my gosh, bro. Rare pose. This is probably the first pose I did in like six months, bro. Power pole in Super Saiyan 2 Goku's hands. Okay, that battle. Now, y'all just being ridiculous. I I'm glad this was 10 years ago. That feels like. Power pole extends! <laughs> oh. Magic. The game's not as fun when you're losing, is it? Game? You think this is a game? I haven't even begun to play. I was not expecting that, y'all. Not another. Ugh. It's draining his energy. It's draining him, bro. He need to finish this fight. He can even keep up with Super Saiyan 3. What makes him so strong? Attacking my mind, huh? That won't work. Prediction. Goku's gonna go Super Saiyan 4. He's gonna take him into space. He's gonna defeat Goku. Going on to the next fight. Watch. My turn. I've got a bad feeling about this. 
The best transformation in Dragon Ball. Here we go again. It's over, Superman. Nobody is stronger than Super Saiyan 4. My Holy jolly to make him say that. Form. You know he's gonna lose, About bro. About time you ran out of hairstyles. Oh, he's going boxing now. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Don't no, no, get out of this. Come on, times ten. Much left in me. Times ten. I have to get above those clouds. Dead battle. Where is it? Oh no. Oh no, you don't. Yes. He's near the sun, bro. Kyle can't Super Saiyan 4! Don't shoot him. That's it. Good fight. Wait, he's... There's no way. You just made him go alive. Super Saiyan, you idiot. It's, it's the sun. He's using the sun. But I'm... I'm drained. Sun, lend me your energy. What? Bro, is it a race? Who finished first? Y'all did not tell me it was gonna come down to this. Wait, Goku didn't even use Dragon Fist. He is Spirit Saiyan. It's over! It's finally over! We'd never have to hear about it again! Indeed. Superman may not be as tenacious as Goku, but sometimes tenacity only prolongs the inevitable. Superman's power is insane! He can even patch up holes in reality just with his own static electricity. Goku did not understand Superman's connection to the sun and would not think to teleport him to a red star. Even if he did figure it out, he would run the risk of teleporting him to a blue star, which actually increases Superman's power. And if Goku destroyed the sun, the supernova would blast all the way past Mars and incinerate him. So it ultimately comes down to who is stronger, faster, and tougher. The force needed to move an object out of the sun's orbit by 1% is about 1,000 times less than the object's mass. The Earth weighs in just under 6.6 sextillion tons. This means Superman is strong enough to move 6.6 .6 quintillion tons. But since his solar power can rise infinitely, this is nowhere near his maximum strength. You're lifting 200 quintillion tons. That's three times your record. While being timed by Max Lord, Superman flew to the sun and back in less than two minutes. That's 9.4 billion kilometers per hour. Not to mention he was fighting Wonder Stripper the whole time. True, so it's likely he can go faster. According to Batman, he can fly at least 17 billion kilometers per hour. And nobody argues with Batman. The Man of Steel can survive the impact of multiple supernovas, each with about 10 octillion megatons of force. So Superman's feats and skills are definitively measured. However, Goku's are not and are difficult to judge. 
Not only does Dragon Ball heavily abuse cinematic time, but Goku's final adventures in Dragon Ball GT are incredibly inconsistent due to his untimely transformation into a child. Wow, the room got a lot bigger somehow. As Ki is dependent on the physical body, his child form likely could not handle his own Ki, sending his power into flux. It can't take it! It's too weak! My older body was more developed! And obviously, we're not using future Goku, because that would require a ridiculous amount of assumptions. Not to mention, we'd have to use future Superman, who's pretty much God. So like Superman, we need to judge Goku in his prime. After experimenting with dozens of different theories, we discovered an ironclad method to finding Goku's limits, which we call the Gravity Formula, based around his training and increased gravity. Due to his style of training and Saiyan heritage, Goku increases his abilities proportionate to the amount of force he trains under. Saiyans are born with a unique ability to fight anywhere. While in base form, Goku could lift just under 40 times. This is equivalent to 586 times normal Earth gravity, which we will use in the gravity formula alongside the Super Saiyan power increases to calculate Goku's maximum potential. Multiplying the 40 tons by the Super Saiyan forms means he can lift up to 160,000 tons in Super Saiyan 4. Strong enough to pick up a continent. Or my ex-wife. <laughs> right after Goku trained on King Kai's planet, which has gravity 10 times stronger than Earth's, he flew across Snake Way Road as fast as possible to save his friends. It took him 28 hours. Impressive, since that's one million kilometers long. Except it's filled with curves and Goku flew straight over it. So how far did he actually travel? By comparing Goku's height to a single spike, we can measure each curve. We can then remove those curves from the overall length. So it turns out Goku actually flew 307,000 kilometers, nearly 11,000 kilometers per hour. To see how fast his base form is by the end of the series, we run the Snakeway number through the gravity formula to find that his top speed clocks in at over 2.5 billion kilometers per hour, over two times the speed of light. We can determine Goku's durability through this bomb, which the brilliant Dr. Jiro designed to kill Goku at age 25, when his maximum potential was Kaioken times four. That was intended for Goku. It was intended to be a last resort. Scans of the bomb display a TNT measurement of 657. Boma says the bomb could destroy the Earth, so this is likely measured in quadrillion megatons. Since it takes at least 53 quadrillion megatons of force to destroy the Earth. So in his final form, Goku can survive up to nearly 35 sextillion megatons. Goku doesn't rely solely on his physical abilities. He amplifies his strength and durability with Ki. But even though his Ki reserve cannot be measured, we can determine his maximum output. See, his Ki attacks do not force him backward unless he allows them to. Even when firing upward at full power, the ground beneath him remains untouched. Therefore, according to physics, his maximum output is at most equal to the amount of force he can withstand. Luckily, we just calculated that with the Jiro Bomb. All right, now that we've determined Goku's maximum potential, let's compare it to Superman. Holy shit! Not even close! Wow. Now, we can keep throwing feats and equations around, but in the end, numbers cannot measure what Goku and Superman are capable of. They are both ultimate heroes, solutions to daunting problems, and achievers of the impossible. The difference is at the core of their character. Goku has never been invincible. He has very clear limits and must overcome those limits to solve the problems at hand. That's the whole point. On the other hand, Superman's story is not about the fight to become the best, but of an immigrant facing the challenge of home versus heritage. After accepting his alien side, Superman has reached his full potential, which under the endless power of the sun is essentially limitless. In short, Superman is as strong as he needs to be. So what happens when you pit a man with the power to break any limits against another who has no limits in the first place? Well, only one has limits to give at all. Goku just Kyle can't keep up with a man of steel. It makes the sense, winner though, is bro. Superman. It makes sense. Can't be mad at it. I predicted it. We're going on to the second fight. It's time for the rematch of legends. It's time for a death battle! Goku, you ready for this? You can do this. Let's get it. I'm loving the animation. Just gotta point that out now. Hey, 
Hey, Superman! Son Goku, I've been expecting you. Ready for a rematch? Y'all being too loud. Neither have you. Focus. With every step, an earthquake. With every breath, I could create a hurricane. Oh, he in his bag. Well, he talking trash, huh? Yours. Don't get ahead of yourself, buddy. You're not the only one. With that kind of power. Blue hair? <laughs> I've seen worse. Have you had your fun? I would prefer we don't accidentally destroy the Earth a second time. No, I will never back down from a fight. The disrespect is insane! This is over! I'm sorry. I believe this is the part where I say, I told you so. But King Kai, I don't understand. You can't beat him. Sure I can. I'll just train harder than ever. No, Goku. You can overcome any limit put in front of you. But his power has no limit. Even if you somehow found the power to surpass him, you wouldn't have anything left to aspire to. Do you truly want that? Nah, sounds boring. Oops. <laughs> uh, King Kai, do you have anything to eat? Goku, I'm trying to be serious here. Why? My stomach has limits too, you know. <laughs> KO! I honestly thought I would be upset. 
they ended this beautifully. I did have a W prediction for the first fight, I guess. It can really be summed up so easily. One has limits, one doesn't. That's how you separate. And that question Boomstead asked, would you really like a Goku that was as strong as Superman? No. No, honestly, I don't think I would. The show would be born. I learned a lot about Superman. I know this video is way longer than normal, but hey man, it's the 500 sub special. Again, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. We are on the road to 1K. We are halfway there. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, turn that bell on so you don't miss anything. Salute to Superman. Salute to you guys. And I'll see y'all next time. You know I'm still gonna say, can they be Goku though, right? Peace.